Uh, achievements and um, non-achievement games have their own... Or modded and non-modded games have their own list of achievements. And I have the achievements already. But we can still we can still track it for here. Like, I have them on Steam and everything. But we're still going to be playing this game like that. Okay, may as well let that just finish. I don't see any reason why not. Try to eyeball that. Boom. Boom. Ugh, and then I pick up the copper ore. That's fine. Okay, you're done now. So you're going to run down here. We're actually producing more copper. We're mining more copper than we are iron right now, but we're going to do a big iron production explosion. So you're coming here, which is good. We have lots of these furnaces. So we'll plop them all down. And then at the bottom here, just a handful of these furnaces are going. And yeah, I'll un override the underground belts again. Uh, to there, which is fine. You need power here, 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 and there. And then we'll just run some power across this way so you can actually operate. Wonderful. Gets rid of that annoying blinky blink. More transport belts. Nice. So for our copper, we're going to be running this way. Uh, you are actually going to be hitting the top. Right there. That's what you're looking to do. Are we still waiting for copper to be delivered over here? Oh, there it comes. Slowly but surely. And we've got a backlog of, uh, of iron over here. Mostly because we're probably waiting on green circuits for things. Okay, get you in there. That's fine. And run some copper. And we'll do some 4x4 four four balancers soon. We just don't quite have all the materials for the splitter right now. Okay, what I really want to do now is get my... How are we on inserters? Well, just enough. What I probably need to focus on, actually, let me go and hand make some more green circuits here. And... Oh, I've got inserters in here. Oh, you're... Hold on, stop. We'll do that. We'll get a few more inserters. Uh, we'll build another assembler or two, or something like that. Maybe maybe we don't need it. Uh, and then we'll get our first green circuit set up over here, which... And I do like to quad belt the green circuits, because you do need to use a fair amount. It's probably... It'd probably be fine to just dual belt it, to be honest. Especially if you're not using the quad belt of greens to make your reds. I could be using some more ghosts here, since I'm mostly just trying to map things. And actually, the greens don't have to go this far out. Because what I'll probably do... Yeah, I definitely don't want them to go this far out. Because I'm going to set up a little green production right over here. The idea being that right after the iron and copper join the main belt, I'm going to grab some off of that, head down this way, make some greens, and then belt it up there. And that'll be our initial three, which is going to be a pretty good start. Cancel all you. Excellent. Okay. So you should be done on that. We will get... Um, I do want a handful more. Oh, I need to make the green circuits. And I'm going to need some more gears as well. Would also recommend the Bullet Trails mod. It does look very nice when you're out for a genocide run. Oh, is it just like a visual thing? Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right. Sounds great. Merla Talis, thank you very much! Cheer! 30 resources needed to rein in, like, bits. <laughs> thank you very much! Don't 30 res- cheer 30 resources- Oh, I think that was a- that was a- supposed to be a cheer 30. Resources to rein in, like, bits. Thank you! I thought about- you know, people get that cool little cup that fills up the bits. They do look very nice, but I thought it might be a little too much visual noise. Especially when we put these- these VODs up on YouTube afterwards, not everyone appreciates the- the sort of- Twitch uh, overtness that can happen. Um, oh, gears. On the subject of visual mods, laser beam turrets is really nice too. Ooh! Oh, I would like that! Yeah, that would be cool! So, this is, this is, this is our handcrafting. This is as close as handcrafting goes, and unfortunately you can't like pre-queue stuff. 
Oh, um, while you're doing that, I should dump off the uh, this copper ore that I'm dragging around here. Don't want that in my inventory. Doing a transport belt, yeah. We're still not... I guess at this point I could probably go and put some sort of limiter so that... Uh, so that I don't overfill my, my inventory. Okay, that's that. So I still want... I guess I'm good on inserters, yeah. So we're going to go and make a couple more grays. Say three actually, and then turn them into blues, like so. Excellent. And then I think I can go and ah dismantle this while it puts crap all over. Thank you. All right, you keep doing you over here. That's fine. Um, I may have wanted something to keep working in inserters, but yeah, let, let's do this first. So what I like for my um, green circuit production. So what I'm going to do is sort of plan to be over here. I like to do, there's a bunch of different layouts. This one I've always liked because it's very simple. It, it's fairly large, it's not necessarily the most compact, but it's really quick and easy to get set up. Is copper and green circuits like this. And we'll mirror it on the other side afterwards, but we will feed into this middle here. Oops. And the inputs are going to come on the outside. And I'm going to do it very similarly to the smelter setup. Leave a little bit of extra room here. Um, but where I've got... Oh, we are going to need to build some splitters. Well, I don't need it right away. But there's going to be a splitter feeding like this for that kind of split again. I'm just going to do the one side first. That's going to be okay. And then you're going to come out that way. And be some green circuits that are going to feed onto that in some sort of way. And then, you know, we'll, we'll route other things around. Maybe they'll all come around this way uh, underneath. And you can you can make this at least two of these sections long. If not, I think with reds, you can go up to like four or something. Um, I don't remember. At some point, I, I sort of had that math down, but no more. So we can just pull all this in. And you guys are going to feed in there and there and there and there and out this way. And these will all have to be it's blue. whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate from Dolce de Leche. Mmm. I really want some Dolce de Leche ice cream now. Hey, Quilt Cheers from Uruguay. Hey, been loving your DCSS and Stardew runs. Keep it up. Well, thank you very much. I don't remember. I don't think my, my latest DCSS run, which was recorded some time ago, has been put up live yet. Last one you guys saw was the Draconian Air Elementals, right? You haven't seen anything with uh, any kind of gargoyle? I gotta make sure to put that live as uh, soon as I, probably as soon as we finish the stream here. I'll make sure to get that set up. Okay, done, 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 done. That's okay. So I, I do need some splitters. So let's go and plop you down over here, actually, and say, I need this. Okay, good. We'll build a handful of them, it's gonna be fine. I still have undergrounds? Yes, good, excellent. Okay, grab you. Because what I want to do is, I'll probably have the iron come in on this one. So, line up here-ish to there. Uh, I guess we don't need another underground at that point, to something like that. And yeah, technically this is supposed to be a splitter here, but we'll just wait for that. Um, and actually with the iron as well, we want a chain of splitters over here. But what I'm going to do is just do this for now. That's going to be fine. And we'll do something very similarly with the copper. Where for now, just to save material, I'm going to get the copper to... Just come here. But you can see how that's going to get redone later as we go and expand that. We just we just need to make sure we've got a trickle of stuff coming in here for us. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we'll get a regular supply now of green circuits. Not gonna be much, but it's gonna be something. Yeah, it's gonna be a gargoyle earth elementalist fighter hybrid. And I guarantee you it's gonna be a good one to watch. 100% guarantee you it's gonna be a really good one to watch. Okay, I think we're going to need a fair bit more green production than this. At the very least, I'm going to double this up, uh, like, almost right away, which does mean we're going to need some more factories. 
Um, automated, like, blue factory production is... Is it actually sort of something we could set up now? All we need to do is get it access to some green stuff. So if we do, you make grays, and you make blues, and you both need booth, booth need plates and gears. You also booth need green circuits. Just trying to figure out like the most. Nah, I don't really care about efficiency for this. So here, we're gonna do that and that, and you're going to split in line like this and we're just going to go up this way and underground um shorter by one again all that obviously we'll have to we'll get moved this whole production area here is another little temporary thing then i can just do this and that and that and that and oh no i need another inserter Got everything it needs to make inserters for me now. Are we in power? Okay, we're still good. Boom. Oh, and I guess you should probably go into a box now. And just limit you to one stack. Not that I think your production is going to be fast enough to really accrue an insane amount, but there we go. I guess we can just do the same thing to get our, um, our inserters flowing. I mean, I, I might want to move things. You know what? No, I'm okay with one more sort of funky little patch to do this. Boom. Okay. There we go. We got all the basics that we need, um, other than perhaps more miners. Although, what we could do is kind of piggyback on this and say, hey, listen, I want you to just take a break for a second and build me some miners instead, because it's exactly the same sort of production, and get a few of those done. Okay. So, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good. Because we are still a little short on the... Well, are we, though? I was going to say we're a little short on the iron. This is... Looking kind of fully saturated here, other than the other side, so we can expand on that. I've got enough stone furnaces. At you, I do want to get up on the mining drills. We've got enough inserters. Uh, we've got the wood required. Well, I need some wire to um, to make some more power poles. Boom. Let's just get you... Oh, I've converted all my wood. That's good. So just make a bunch of wire. And then we'll make a bunch of power poles. And what we can do is we can double up on our smelting. And then rip all this apart and work on. We can actually start blueprinting it. So our true and proper... If we're over here, can we make our full late game... Mmm, that's a little tight. Let's say our full late game uh, production for our belts and things. Just ready to go for the future. I'm not sure if that's entirely true. It might be okay. Nah, I'm, I'm going to build it over here. And then we run into the wall of forest, which yeah, sort of sucks. Whiskey and chocolate. Azaris, hey, thank you very much. So, Quill, why has only been one video a day on YouTube? Well, if you check my, uh, my Twitter, you'll, you'll get information as to why that's been the case. But I have not been feeling all that well in the head uh, most recently been hard to get motivated for things. Hopefully that's going to change soon. Didn't help that I did get excited about playing Hoy, and then we got like, game-breaking bug to stop us forever. Like, uh... Need a flamethrower. I'm also, I'm a really f big fan of clearing um, trees with grenades. But that's, oh, that's all going to need green tech. Not that it takes us that long to get to green tech. We can actually uh, really sort that now. We've got, we've actually got everything in place to produce both levels of tech right now. 
I think I'm just going to want to go and finish the first smelting section, which, if I get these poles all doing done, we can do. Maybe, maybe I'll do the tech section down here. I mean, normally I like to have all my building on one side of the bus so that we can expand it easier. Mm, yeah, I don't know. So before I actually finish that side, this is all going to be moot unless we get more iron mining. So I'm going to put you here. You've got a little patch of stuff. We may as well go and collect it. Can't, oh, it's so hard to read. Looks like that's grabbing all the iron. And then from here, we want to start some more over there. Okay. Actually, for now, you can just do this. That's going to be okay. Grab you. Put you here. You should come around this way and that way. There we go. I mean, that's not the ideal merger, but it's still going to get a bit more. It's going to oversaturate one side, but that's fine. But yeah, especially for all the splitters and underground and stuff, it would be really nice to get the proper belt set up. I like to do the inserters first because you can see that they've been placed down because they start to blink. And then you, when you get the power down, then you know you haven't missed any. It's a little more annoying on the other side because it's already covered by that. I mean, I do hate the blinking. The blinking is the annoying part, but sure as hex makes things clear. Do I have enough inserters? Oh, just enough. All right. And you go there. Excellent. Okay. Smelt your butts off. Hopefully these are all clearing the right way. You're just waiting for some more stuff to come in. I mean, I don't think we still have enough ore coming in, but still, it's going to be a fair bit. And it's going to be nicely balanced in both these sides as well, which is going to be okay. We're almost going to hit our backlog on the green circuits. So yeah, this is going to stay here for now, just because there's not a ton of space to add something over here anyway. That actually might be a good area to make, like, weapons, because we really don't need a lot of inputs for that. Uh, inserter. Okay, we've got tons of inserters now, so it's I'm going to kill this chocolate. off. Whiskey and chocolate for Helio! Hey, thank you very much! Thank you very much for all the amazing content you make. It's great to be able to catch a live stream. Well, thank you very much for being here, Helio, and thank you very much for your support. Uh, 105, 111. Just six more and you win. <laughs> uh, you guys got to come in here. Yeah, we need a few more splitters. And we'll need a few undergrounds as well. Luckily, undergrounds don't need green circuits. Boom, 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 boom. Missing the seventh column, third row insert on your iron smelters. Seventh column? We don't have seven columns. I, mean, the, I don't know. The, the, you may be trying to say something that's true, or you might be saying something that's not. Let's mean it the other way. Seventh, yeah, seventh row, third column. Uh, so two, four, six. So this is the seventh. You're saying I'm missing this inserter here? No, it's 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 running. Okay, you guys, you let, let me know uh, again if we need clarification. Okay, uh, so yeah, right over here we want to get probably our belt set up. So I'm trying to remember. We want something for our belts. Not third, second column. Oh my god! <laughs> See, every time you guys criticize me about missing something, remember how hard it is sometimes to communicate this stuff. So now we're talking about second column left to it. One of the dots is yellow. <coughs> okay, I'll look for the yellow dot. That, that'll help. <laughs> right here. There it is. 
Thank you. Okay. So I think for our belt assembly, we end up with something sort of like this, where the middle one makes the transport belts, and one of them, I don't think it matters which, makes the splitter, and one of them makes the undergrounds. Oh, we might need to move it a little further back to make sure we've got lots of gears being produced. I think I like that. How come it takes longer to pick up an empty chest than it does to dismantle an entire assembler? I'm just saying. Okay. Way up over here. There we go. So something like that. And again, we're going to need chest. No, it's not right. Chest. It's chest. whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. Fang! Hey, Fang727! Hey, thanks! First time I've been able to get to a live stream in a while. Ha were you just... I feel like I saw something. Maybe it was a resubscribe message? Well, anyway, nice to have you around, Fang. Thank you. Or do you just, like, send that message every time or something? <laughs> you know what? You could probably do that, and I would not, like, notice. Or maybe I'm starting to notice. I don't know. All right, we want something like that. And I think a nice setup for this, uh, we need to we need to clean up our toolbar here. I like to have you there and locked. I like to have you here and I like to have, I don't have undergrounds. Now you can still go, if you middle click, you can still lock that there and get it going. Uh, oh, because you're building underground for me, so thank you very much. Okay. So I think one of the things you can do that's kind of nice is something like, I guess we'll run iron plates this way and gears like this if I'm remembering this is this turns out to be kind of a nice little thing so then over here I guess you can get more iron plates that run this way and it all kind of works out the same more of those, but that's okay. Right, let me just build one over here for now, but the idea is there will be more. Um, and then I like to have my inserters over here, because what I like to do, which is sort of moot right now, is I like to have my blues, my reds, and often my filters are something, but I'm not sure. This is going to be power lines, which right now will just be wood, but later will be replaced with the medium here and the large over here. I already bookmarked the large. It's going to be okay. Do I have any more power lines? Oh, I do. They, don't, they just don't slip down automatically. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So... If we get this to be all geared, we are going to need some blue inserters soon, but that's okay. You guys are dumping out like that and like that. You're grabbing from here. You know what? Let's do that. And yeah, there'll be there'll be another layer of those, and there'll be another row of, of iron ore, but that's going to be okay. So I'll leave some room just in case we need to like balance some things or something. I don't know. Obviously, there'll be some splitters involved. Like there. And like there. Uh, and we'll run some power. We'll need one here for the other factory afterwards. Look at that. Trying to save a few poles, which is probably not worth the work. Uh, you're going to feed that way. Oh, and that way. And these can be really limited to, I don't know, something like that. Sure. And then I think we'll need the same sort of thing. When we get our reds, they're going to go upwards and feed into some more boxes here as another layer. Something like this. I'm trying to avoid, just for the fun of it, because I think it makes more entertaining videos other than, all right, so I go to Factorial Prints, grab a blueprint, and plop it down. So we can start to funnel that down there. Uh, you need green circuits. You do not. You need gears 
You don't. Only this needs gears? I think the uh, the next levels need gears, though. I'm not sure. I'm doing something like that, though. You don't need gears. You just need the green circuits. I don't remember what the reds need. Tell you what, just for now, because I actually don't know if we're going to need this. We'll save a little bit of material. And we've got plenty of those. We can drag the green over. I think the reds... I mean, I know the red transport belts need gears. I'm pretty sure the red next level stuff also needs gears, though. So I guess I'm going to bring you into here. Again, more things will get changed as we bring our bus over. But for now, I'm sort of a little desperate about saving some of our initial material. I'm sure we'll have to do something else with the green circuits. But for now, this will suffice to do that. And then, yeah, I guess all these need to go into, like, actual boxes over here. Do that. You'll do that. Um, do I have another constructor on me? Actually, this, this will do fine. I want more iron chests. Actually, you can produce a bunch of them. That's going to be okay. You're going to go there, there, there. I will limit you to that. I will limit you probably also to this, and then you will be limited to something like that. That's going to be fine. Okay. We are now producing all of our bits. Now, they're not necessarily grabbing as fast as we would like. So the next thing will be to build probably right over here. Oh, that's going to take so much work to clear these woods. Oh, is, um, is our inserter production line. Although, I could make a little mini one over here. It actually is probably worth doing that just for the time being. Because we do we do have access to, like, a ton. I don't know. Just use robots. I know. What are your thoughts about using stacked priority splitters to force materials on the bus to a single side as much as possible? Um, yeah, I know what you're saying. I, I don't know if I, if I care that much, but it's probably a good idea. I mean, I am playing the, for the lazy achievement over here. Although it's ironically less lazy than than using your, your manual queue a lot. I mean, there's more than enough room here, especially since we're not looking to set up this four set for a long time. I think it's okay if I just go ahead and build the... Um, a little bit... Just, just up to the fast inserters. The long inserters, the fast inserters, and the yellow inserters, just get them going. As something that's fairly similar to this. I don't remember the chain. You need the yellows to feed into the other two, right? So we could do something somewhat similar. Uh, do I have... You go in there. No, you don't go in there. You go into that. I take all these. And I get rid of these grays over here. Boom, like that. There we go. So I have tons of mine, miners now, which is great. And once again, I need a bunch of these assembling machines. Which we'll have to wait a little while now. Shotgun this trees. That's such a pain. <laughs> I don't like it. Restarting science would be really nice, though. What's that? Hey, Mo Brockers with the cheers. Thank you. Diamond always helps my girlfriend. Brain, brain chemicals will start slowing down. So maybe this will help. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. We all like shiny things, don't we? Shiny things are great. Uh, I think I'll do something a little different. Do you all need plates, too? I guess so. 